Hello, my name is Saskia Rieken. I'm a nurse consultant in skin cancer and dermatology at Kingston Hospital. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to examine yourself for signs of skin cancer and what to look out for. The most common forms of skin cancer can almost always be cured in the early stages when they're small and haven't spread. The earlier skin cancer is diagnosed and treated, the better the outcomes are. Check yourself at least once a month. If you look critically and regularly, you will notice changes. Use a full length mirror and a handheld mirror in a room with plenty of light, ideally after a bath or shower. Examine your body, front and back, in a long mirror. Then your left and right sides with your arms raised. Bend the elbows and check upper underarms and palms carefully. Check the backs of your legs and feet, the spaces between the toes, your toenails and the soles of your feet. Examine the back of your neck and your scalp with a handheld mirror. Part the hair or use a hair dryer so you can check all over your scalp. Finally, check your back and the buttocks with a hand mirror. You can ask a family member or friend to check all the places that are hard to see, such as the back and scalp. Don't forget to check areas where symptoms can go unnoticed, such as fingernails and nail beds, the palms of your hands, the genital area, between your buttocks and under your breasts. There are most commonly three different types of skin cancer and you can find pictures and descriptions online. There are useful links provided at the end of this video. What you're looking for are changes to your existing moles or the appearances of new marks. Look out for a growth that increases in size and appears pearly, translucent, tan, brown, black, multicolored or is non-healing. An ugly duckling, a mole that stands out from all your other moles. A mole, bird mark, beauty mark, or any brown spot that varies in color, increases in size, thickness, changes in texture, is irregular in outline, is bigger than 6 mm, the size of a pencil eraser, or appears after the age of 40. A new red or darker color flaky patch that may be a little raised, or a new flesh colored firm bump. An open sore that doesn't heal, or a spot or sore that continues to itch, hurt, crust, scab or bleed should also give cause for concern. Take photographs of lesions and measure them so that you can provide us with as much information as possible. We map patients with lots of moles. Apps like MySkin are available to download that help you take pictures and measurements of moles so you can track any changes. We hope you found this information helpful. Remember, skin cancer is preventable and in another video, we will tell you how best to protect yourself from the sun. Thank you for watching.